So you have all your lessons written out in Word and you want to put them into Dreamweaver. If you have something that looks like this, you have, for example, all these poems. I'm going to choose uh, my very first one, ex-basketball player. This is what I had typed up. What I'm going to do is take this whole unit, I'm going to copy it, and once I open up Dreamweaver, I can paste it in there. But what I'm going to do first is make a table. And the reason why I'm going to do that is because it might look a little bit better and a little bit more clean if you have a little bit of room on both sides. So I made a table, two rows, three columns. I can put my title in here. And if you're comfortable in Dreamweaver, it's much like Word, you can just do it that way. And then what I'm going to do is paste all my text into Dreamweaver. You can see that it's a very long page and you might not want to set it up like that because it's not very good for course design. You don't want to have the student having to scroll down uh, for a very long amount of time. So what I'm going to do is take everything off except this first part. So I'm left with something that looks like this. That's a much uh, better length for a student to deal with. So what I'm going to do is under title, I'm going to call it the title of the page, uh, lesson one for example, and when I save this, it's really important that you save it correctly. And you'll find out why in lesson number four on this page. But if I choose to call this module one, lesson one, page one, and if I save it like that, it will be saved into the correct form. The reason for this is when we unzip them into WebCT, you won't have to look at every individual page. They'll come up in order when you unzip them within WebCT. So, for example, when I saved all my module one or, you know, one work, this is how I saved them. They will unzip in numerical order inside of WebCT, so you won't have to have a lot of problems finding out where they go. Module one, lesson one, page one. Module one, lesson one, page two, and it goes to, to four pages. So what I wrote up in Word, I broke into four individual usable pages for the students to, to navigate. 